Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be redoing all of the troop formation videos for PvP, player versus player. This is the kind of formations you want to be utilizing when you are out fighting um, different players within your own kingdom. So I want to go ahead and make a video, just a couple bis you know, basic videos, and make this uh, based on your different troop formation. Um, troop march capacity. So this video is going to be highlighting the march capacity of a, a formation of 50,000, 100,000 or less. So, you know, if this is not, you know, your troop formation march size, this video is not for you. Um, but don't worry, there will be more videos of different formation sizes. And these are just basic broad formations. Not this won't work for everyone, but this is what works for me. So it's basically going to be a split between your infantry, your cavalry, and your bow, your distance. So I like to utilize a formation of about 40% distance, and then split um, about 30% infantry and 30% cavalry. So that might sound a little different compared to everyone else, but basically what that means is when you have a hundred thousand and you're taking thirty thousand you're gonna have about thirty thousand infantry you're gonna have about thirty thousand cavalry and you're gonna have about forty thousand distance now it's not just cut and dry like that you know I wish this could be it and then you're done but what I'm gonna recommend is I'm gonna recommend that you start off with about twenty thousand of your best tiers and about 30,000, uh, well, 20, 25,000 for distance. Now, we're actually going to lower this to about 15,000. Um, same here. Now, what we can do here is then we have a total of 50, uh, 30,000, so we are, I'm going to do about 10,000 of our next tier down. Okay. And then from here, we're going to go down to 5,000. Five thousand. And then you see we have 26, 5. That needs to, that goes up to 40. So we can do about 10K there. Then we have 3,000, so we can go up to like 500. And then just work your way down from your highest tier, just doing 500 of each. Um, distance, I would leave just at your top two tiers. Um, and this will prob pretty much make up your formation for a march capacity of 100,000. Now keep in mind you're going to have different tier levels than me, especially if you're only at 100,000 for your troop formation. But this is what you know you should be looking for in your troop formation having about 15,000 of your highest tier for infantry and cavalry um, and then going down to 10,000 for your second highest tier because the reason for this is there are different types of troops within each um, well there's different you know qualities of troops within each uh, type so here we have cavalry this is a cavalry heavy cavalry and then my t10s are light cavalry so my T11s have an increased attack against pikemen. So they have an increased attack against a very specific type of infantry. Then my T10s have a very specific type of attack against riflemen. So this is going to be against my distance troops. So I'm getting an additional attack bonus with my T10s against distance troops, whereas my T11s get a very specific attack against um a very specific type of infantry and you can do the uh, you could you know look into the, all this stuff and go through and figure out why this occurs and you know formulate what works best for you based on what tiers you have and what the tiers your enemies would have because I mean if you, you know the more time you put into it the more time you make formulating your march formation the better off you're gonna be so like here we have musketeers 
increased defense against light cavalry, whereas this pikeman has an increased defense against riflemen. So here we're looking at our infantry. My T11 has an increased attack against cavalry, whereas my T10s have an increased attack against distance troops. Now, each tier is different. There's a couple different tiers that have like the same types back to back. Like you see T9s and T8s are both riflemen. But if you notice, like, hey, this rifleman has an increased attack against all cavalry and all artillery. Well, who really cares about all, all artillery? Let's be honest. It's really only good versus traps. So that's cool. That's neat. But it's not the end of the world. Um, and then the grenadiers have an increased attack against musketeers. And musketeers are a different special type of infantry. So we have a special distance for cavalry and we have a special distance for infantry so that's why you want to you know separate the two and have a mixture of both because if you have a mixture of the two different types you'll be able to attain um, an increased attack bonus against any type of troop that you will be facing and it will just maximize the odds of your troops surviving so this is a basic formation video for troop for marches of a hundred thousand or so so you know this is going to go it's good for anything below 100,000 this is good for anything from up to like 125,000 well, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can get out of a troop formation of 150,000 next so stay tuned this is Gavin Cowboy